It's a giant dahlia. It wouldn't get a first prize in the in the sh on the showman's bench because it's slightly ruffled in there. They like things to be perfect, but I think for impact, you know, uh, this is the plant to have in your garden. And it's got real joie de vivre, hasn't we it? Agree. which is what you want. And it's nice to do something like this, actually, just in a, in a little corner, so that when you come round and, and see this, it really puts a smile on your face. You know, it takes mm -hmm. your breath away, and you you walk away with this. In the back of your mind, this is the this is the sort of th thing that you would never ever forget. Whereas everything else, you know, they're very nice and, and informal cottagey planting, but this is just really impactful. If we wanted to get these really big, like this, um, I mean, we're not even attempting disbudding or destemming. What the what the breeders would do on plants like this is that they would um, take off all the side stems. Look, this this actually look. If we're going to talk about um, uh, staking. Look at this. This is fine there, but I'm going to do a clove hitch. Right hand over to left. Right hand over to left. The sec the second loop sits under the first loop. You stick it on there. This is what I'm going to teach you how to do. And if we just then pull that back on there. So you didn't tie a knot. You just made slip knots. Yes, uh, but I'm tying a knot now. All right. Okay, so there we there we have it. But look, see if we wanted to if we wanted to um if we wanted to make these flowers bigger, say we're going for exhibition. I've got a competition on Saturday. In, in fact, oh, I'm sorry you're not here on Saturday because you could have come to the competition with me. What, what I could have done is that I could have taken a, a plant like this and taken off all taken off taken a shoot like that. I'm thinking that's going to be my winning flower. So I take off all these side shoots, all these, so all the energy goes into that. So each plant only has three blooms rather than having 15 blooms. So you, you de-stem and you um, dispud. So the energy goes into these. And look, it's got the potential of making ginormous blooms. That. And I think for tomorrow's competition, I will cut one of these. Um, Tell me the name of this dahlia again. Emery Paul. E-M-O-R-Y. E-M-O-R-Y. P-A-U-L. And look, the other thing is, these giant, these giant decoratives, or, or giant decks, as they call them in the trade, they're, um, they've, got, they've got problems with them as garden plants, because they've got terribly coarse leaves, because they, the, the, the breeders go for um, a magnificent flower, they don't give any attention um, to the leaf because they're not, they're not going to exhibit the leaf. But in the garden the leaf is yeah. important. And if you look at Emery Paul, its leaf isn't too bad. You know, it's slightly cut, it's got a sheen on it, it's not big, fat and coarse, it's got a nice texture to it, so, and with a dark stem as well. It, it, it has, you know, the makings of a good garden plant. The dark stem is a big help, you're right. And then we would take seed from this, sow it out and probably grow about 150 plants and then select that one that um how long from seed oh they're flowering to blooming. They, they flower in the first year but they're not absolutely uniform in the first year so you wait until the second year so you, you'll get rid of 95 percent of them and keep the five percent that look promising and then and build on those all right